Microsoft System Center Service Manager has the ability to import external data into the CMDB through two different methods. The first method is to import data from other Microsoft infrastructure. This can include Active Directory, users, printers, or computers, SCCM asset data, or Operations Manager discovered asset data. The challenge here and the reality is, is that not all your asset data is going to be coming from Microsoft infrastructure. You need to be able to import data from other external sources of truth into the CMDB. Out of the box, Microsoft offers the ability to import CSV files. When importing a CSV file, you need to know two technical items. The first is an XML format file that maps column headers, and the second is a CSV file with the information in it. Click Browse here. I can choose an XML file that will map column headers to computers. If I choose Browse again, I can then choose a CSV file that allows for me to choose computer information. You notice that this is a very technical and very tedious process to import asset data. You may also notice that there's not a schedule option in this CSV file import. The moment I click Import here, that import happens once into the CMDB and does not reoccur. The challenge here is your data is dynamic and your asset managers are changing this data on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. You need to have a solution where you can import external sources of truth on a schedule that you can manage and wrap around your business needs for asset management. Cyrison has developed a solution to solve this challenge. With the Cyrison Asset Import app, you're now able to, with a couple of quick, easy, and intuitive dialog boxes, import from any external source of truth into the CMDB for not only out-of-the-box CMDB elements such as users and computers, but also any class extensions you may have added to the CMDB. Let's see it in action. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll go ahead and import information from an external source of truth that's updating my location information in the Cyrus and Asset Management Import app. I'll give it a nice friendly title. We'll go ahead and select a management pack for this to be added to. We'll then provide a source. And this can be a hard path on the server, or if we have an external source of truth putting information into a UNC path, we're able to select that UNC path select that appropriate CSV file. We'll go ahead and see that we have a list of all the target classes within the CMDB. Again, for the purposes of this, we're going to be importing into the Cyrus and Asset Management app all the location information. We're going to choose the combination class for our relationships. If I wanted to output log files, I could via this workflow log folder path. And also, if I wanted to test this data before I imported it, I have the ability to select this checkbox, and the output of the import will go into the workflow log folder path. If I select Next here, I now get the ability to map data from my CMDB to my CSV file. Now, this is really great because what we're showing here is all of the location information and its relative attributes to be able to import into. And on the right hand side here, we're given the file header information from that CSV file to map that information to. Let's go ahead and marry up this information and import this data. I can go ahead and select a display name, location name, and then for the attributes around that location name, I can map up things such as address line one, address line two. Maybe I want to map up city, the country, Maybe there's a phone number associated with this, possibly a postal code, date information. You can see here that this easy mapping does not require the knowledge of any XML because we automatically read this data from the CMDB and allow for you to do a simple mapping with this dialog box. Next, I have the ability to manage the schedule for this import. See here, I have a couple different options to manage the schedule. If I wanted to import this data from that particular UNC share on a daily schedule, I have the ability to select daily, 
let's say for the purpose of this, there's an external source of truth that's updating that location information every night at 1 a.m. We'll go ahead and schedule this 2 a.m. We'll schedule it to happen on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We'll leave Saturday and Sunday out because that data is not changing on those particular days. Or I have the option to do it on a frequency. Let's say this asset data is constantly changing. Maybe purchase order information is constantly updated every couple of hours in your fixed asset system. Well, here I have the ability to select two hours to be able to import that data dynamically on that schedule. You can see here with the Cyrus and Asset Import solution, we now have the ability to import from any external source of truth into the CMDB, including the Cyrus and Asset Management solution. I can do this by mapping data from the CMDB to CSV files with their common file header information, as well as be able to easily schedule this out on a daily basis or on a frequency. It's that simple.